Good afternoon, one and all. It's my pleasure to be on this platform and to share a few of my experience and idea which in the journey of my life. Not an experienced speaker, nor an expert talk. But I hope whatever I have gained a little bit in my experience, in my entire career, what I have gone through, what I have seen, what I have feel it, it's all what I can talk today. I'm not so a fashion expert that I've not gone through so much of education about fashion, but yes, I live in fashion. This was a small beginning of my journey from this small town. Never believed that I'll become what I am today. And never even dreamed that I'll be on this platform one day and be a fashion designer or a fashion stylist or into this industry. By education, I'm a psychologist. I've done my MPhil. I'm still doing my PhD in psychology. I was teaching in college also as a lecturer, but though, fashion is something completely different which I have not studied. But that was always my dream. After I complete my 10th, I left Imphal. Then I came to Bangalore for my studies, not for fashion. But eventually, the city had brought my dream back to my life and started my career with my fashion. Oh, so, Manipur, after all, whatever I have become today, I always remember and never forget that I am from Manipur. And I should do something for Manipur. Though I cannot change like what any politician could do, like what everyone expects from Modi, I hope people of Manipur expect something from me that Robert would do something in terms of fashion. So I feel that a little amount of contribution I would do in the state in terms of fashion and could change something. Because the idea of about fashion is completely misunderstood, misconceptualized and misinterpreted which is really needed to be changed. When you tell someone about fashion, people think wearing small dresses, or a colorful dresses, or uh, probably a colored hair or something, something weird things means a fashion to the people of Manipur. And people, some beautiful girls walking on the ramp, that means a fashion. That's really not. It is where a platform wherein we could able to, you know, pass a message to the people what you are wearing. You don't need to be up to the date of mark or up to the date of trends to follow fashion. What you are wearing, what I am doing, what is a jeans, that's a fashion. Everyone goes with the chains in the society. It's like a revolution. It's like how art revolves around. There's always a change and it always come back. Same thing happens in fashion. But my idea is that, how can I brought up fashion? So I always try my best at, I use utility of, especially a textile, handloom, of Manipur in the best level that I could able to portray that in the way of fashion so that people accept it. Whenever you portray something in terms of fashion, that becomes fashionable to the people. So uh, here uh, I believe that fashion is completely an industry. Here there is no market in Imphal nor in Nordis. I don't find anything any single market here but luckily I was in Bangalore when I started so still now I'm in Bangalore I'm living in Bangalore today also so like eventually uh, you know when we there are a lot of people who wanted to take up fashion as a career but after all parents say that what you're gonna do it you're gonna end up stitching the clothes or you become a tailor that's a word 
that use and you know demotivate the child but uh, what it should come from within what you wanted to become in life it's your heart has to decide you decide by your mind it's not always correct so we should always follow what our heart says that what we want to do in life if I would not have taken my decision with my heart, I would have never been in this place. When I was there in Bangalore and when I started my journey of my life in the fashion, I just thought that I'll do something at least to fulfill, satisfy myself and I'll be happy in life. That's the only thing I never th think that people would call me designer, people would call me outside, do international shows, could able to do something for Manipur, never had all these ideas in me before. But eventually, later, people get inspired and people started asking me. There are parents who come to my house, a lot of people, and asking, you know, like my parents, are you guys happy what he is doing? Obviously, my parents was never been accepted me what I was. They never accept me. I thought that immediately the moment when my parents will get to know that I am into this world, my father will kill me, that's the only thing which I know that. He will shoot me or he will just cut me off and throw me off. That's the only thing which comes in my mind because that scariness and fear was inside me. But eventually I thought like, whatever, I'll face the life. And I decided to come in. Then later when I was after eight years into this industry, recently only two years back my parents knew. There was a rumor that I was into the industry, but no one knows it. Even my parents, my father, mother, they don't know anything. But later, when I open my store by myself, anything, then later they come to know that I am completely into the fashion industry. Fashion, again, when you take it as a uh, one professional field, it is one huge area which is which is not easy to you know learn in one day. It's a four years course completely an educational course. It's not like uh, what people think that it's about just teaching the clothes and making garments and uh, you know like doing uh, whatever you feel that uh, what you see just the outside thing. It has a lot to do with a lot of education. Academic career is completely there on that. Though there are a lot of institutes now and uh, I think people, a lot of people from Manipur started taking up this course, fashion designing course, not only just uh, into the field of fashion designing, they are fashion styling, fashion communication, uh, accessories design, a lot of other courses, especially in the National Institute of Fashion Technology, NIFT, NIFD. And one funny thing is, do I don't have any single education in terms of fashion, I'm a guest lecturer in National Institute of Fashion Technology, Bangalore. They have employed me there after I got experience in the industry, but I have not got a single, single educational qualification in fashion. I have not done anything, but eventually I was the official stylist for the Blender Sprite because uh, this fashion week, which is one of the biggest fashion week in India. So they have called me then like Ministry of Textile Government of India accepted me and they put me through directly without any qualification and I teach that. And eventually I meet a lot of Manipuri peoples and Nordic people, students who are studying in NIF. Then I was really happy people started taking up this course. So uh, I think something, if you have to take up something in this field, apart from, you know, like uh, thinking that the fashion for the sake of, you know, like, oh, people will like it. If you take fashion, then girls will like it. All the boys will like it. My boyfriend will like it. All my girlfriend will like it. If that concept is there, then like, it's it is something wrong. Which youngsters really do it just because they don't take the decision from heart. If you take the decision from heart, you really want it. You should do it and go ahead in life. That's what I really feel it. So, uh, it's really tough to explain huge thing in my entire span and journey of my life. So I'll cut it short. So like whatever experience I have so far that much I can share it but like uh, what I feel was uh, in Manipur especially here when uh, you know people wanted to take up uh, any course first option is doctor or engineer <laughs> parents always see is that you become either a doctor or engineer so like either people learn doctor by force paying huge ransom of money 
20 lakh, 30 lakh, 40 lakh, 60 lakh, 70 lakh and later become a doctor or become a doctor with forcefully giving the money without nothing knowledge forcefully pass because she has to pass something somehow and get treated to the people without any knowledge and loss a lot of life because of the confusion themselves from the beginning because they were not clear from the beginning and they never wanted to be in the film and they were forced later to become a doctor and eventually say, lost many of the life because they were not never been interested in that area and a lot of people not don't even become nothing learn doctor engineer and did nothing and you know simply wasting the time so anything career is not apart from doctor engineer or anything there are a lot of things which we can do in life not only fashion either you give you work what i believe is believe yourself you can do it give work to yourself motivate yourself there are a lot of things in life which you can earn by ourselves no one give me job i give my job to myself when i started no no, no my parents have given not even one single rupee not even one rupee no one have given me i have earned from my college where i was studying where i was studying i used to go for college shows and earn few monies that from that i started my own career that's where you have to make your own way when you find your own way you will find your own way if you don't find your way and you stand and wait for the time to come time will never come it will always go away from life this was the show recently happened in Imphal that was Miss India Universe that was Miss India Pacific, Asia Pacific and that was Miss India 2013 Miss India Asia Pacific that they were all people from Bombay who have came down to Imphal and did my show wearing all this Manipuri outfit that was my biggest achievement of my life and I feel that I was really proud to have them here and it was my best moment of my time because it's I did a lot of shows outside but like I don't I don't feel that satisfaction and happiness that much when I do it in Imphal because here when they come here and know our own culture and did something that was the main thing which I was really happy uh, can we move ahead uh, this is all my works few works which I have did in Bangalore and like suitcases all Manipuri collections which is designed which I try to promote my best which is in the opening of one of the hair portal this is a recent show this is again the face of the recent which is happening right now FIFA World Cup at Diana which is the, she's the face of the FIFA World Cup she's doing the ad for all the FIFA right now is in my collection recently and like I'll try to close my uh, this thing speech nothing to speak much though like I'm not a good speaker though and like not expert just that whatever experience I have in my life just trust yourself trust God when I have my journey in my life no one have you know like I have breakdown huge in my life but when I never, you know, in that small, small breakup, I try to console myself and come up and stand by myself. I know how public have reacted me before, how they have reacted me now, and how they have trust, and people started trusting. So, give that trust. A lot of people will come up more than me, and I hope that in the terms of fashion, a lot of people will take up as a career, inspire themselves, trust yourself. Don't never give up in life. Trust it, one day you will come up. There will be a lot of people, more than Robert, will come up and stand and you know bring the name of Manipur. Thank you so much.